there, this is Susan, and I am bringing you a couple hours late, Felicity Friday's Kill a Kit. I am killing October and November's Felicity Jane kits, and I combined them a while back because of the colors being so warm and fall colory, kind of, so I combined them. Um, I guess I'll just begin. I've never done a Kill a Kit before, so I've never scrapbooked in the magnitude that I've been doing in the last three or four months. It usually used to take me, um, I'd get maybe 10 pages done a year because I was such a slow scrapbooker, but I just am having a blast scrapbooking and getting videos done and pages done that it's been really refreshing. So I'm going to start with the embellishments that I have left. I have three leaves, fall, and an arrow that came with an embellishment kit. And I'm gonna just stick this in my wood veneer box, which is not like as full as some of you. I've been a Stampin' Up! rep for a long time. And therefore I did a lot of Stampin' Up! stuff, so I don't have a lot of extras. We got three of these leaf or feather paper clips, so I have two of those left. So I'm gonna stick that in a little tray, keep it handy. We got, I got two of these tags. We had three, so I used one. We had quite a bit of flare left, and I only have these two flare left. I have this little piece of twine left, and then we had this tissue paper sequins. I don't know if you want to call it sequins, but this little tissue paper is... Uh, we had blue and like a gold tissue paper and the, the pink circles and hearts. So I had to use those. <clears throat> What else? Um, the cut aparts. I think I got two October kits. No, oh, no, I didn't get two kits. I got the actual Felicity Jane kit, and then I got the paper add on for October. I didn't get the add on for November. But when you get the add ons, you get the extra sticker stock cut apart sheets. And so that made me have a lot. I mean, a lot of the extra labels and tags and tabs. You know, all kinds of stuff. My grandkids are all here. They're all playing. So you might hear a lot of loud noise. But that's just them making memories, right? So I have a lot of these little labels and stuff left that I can use. I'll find a little container or jar and keep them handy on my, my page. I mean, on my page. On my desk so that I can use them again sometime. Um, this was the Cedar Lane... Puffy stickers that had the love this, uh, the little fox, a bunch of acorns and flowers and arrows and all kinds of cuteness. I killed it. It's all gone. No more. This is a first. I've never really used in a, the whole thing. So this was really exciting. This I did not, however, kill. This is the Cedar Lane washi shapes. And I loved it, and I did use it, and I used it as much as I possibly could. Maybe I could have done a little better, but anyway, this will stay handy on my desk, and I'll grab it because I don't know that they're all fall-looking colors. I could, you know, mix them in. There's some things that have more of a fall flare to it, than, but other things that can go in for spring. So this will stay on my desk handy. Another thing that will stay on my desk handy is this American Crafts DIY Shop Gold phrase stickers. I loved them. Loved them, loved them. This, I thought I got, I thought maybe they mistakenly sent me two by accident. Well, here everyone got two. As I watched other people do their unboxing, I realized that I think we were meant to have two. So this was my sheet that I used first, and then I wanted other phrases that I'd used that needed to work well. So I actually have a lot of those. Those will also stay very handy on my desk because who doesn't love phrase stickers and gold? Well, you might not like it, but I love it. Um, there were cut apart cards, lots and lots of cut apart cards. And I used, they, this was one of the ones that I got the paper add on. So I got two of these. I did use one of these four by sixes, but I have a lot of these cards left, a ton. Some are doubles and some are not. Like this one, I won't keep in my stash at all because I used it and cut the heart out and used it on a layout and then I punched a heart but for now until I'm completely sure that I'm done with this kit completely um, I'll use it to 
tuck in behind photos or maybe do some more cutting but it won't ever go into my stash like when I'm really done it's gonna go in the trash now this I'll save I'm gonna cut this off I use this yellow to back um, like an embellishment and I, ha I can punch a couple more hearts but I will use that hello possibly but I'm not gonna throw that away but I will cut that down so those I didn't do so great at using I did use quite a few but not as much as maybe I could have I didn't use this cute little bag but I will save that because maybe I will in this little envelope we got I think I have uh, like six feathers I have like three vellum and three craft colored ones left and I love them I just didn't do a whole lot of fall pages I think I did one which was my mom's birthday and because she's in November that's why um, out of the thickers I think these were for either October or November I have three A's one E three O's two U's I do have a T and an S and a Y I can make some more letters I mean I can make some more words out of this so this of course is gonna stay pretty pretty handy I love the hashtag which I just noticed last night so that will stay handy in my on my desk and the other one that was in the October I might have them mixed up that was this brown corrugated thicker which I loved I still do I'm a little tired of looking at it because I used it a lot but I still love it and I will use it as often as I can I have two A's left no E's five I's three O's and that's it I have one Y I have an R, I have no T's and S's, but I'm sure I could probably make some kind of word, maybe. Like, I have an F there, I have a son's name who's Jared, I could make his name, and he's the next one coming up, so I can actually take this and make this F and E, and um, that's what I might actually do. <clears throat> so that'll use up some of those. The stamp sets that came in the kit, well, I've never had them, but I know I'm not getting rid of them because I loved them. Some I used a whole lot more than the others, but not to say that they won't get used. So now on to the papers. I used all the card stocks that came in the paper. I only have these two sheets left. Again, like I said, the one kit I got the paper add-on and the other I did not. But I have a plan in mind. I just couldn't locate my pictures. This I was going to do a Halloween spread because I just love Halloween. And I know the pictures I want, I just can't put my hands on them. And once I find them, I am going to... That's what I mean, I didn't want to kill my kit completely yet, as far as throwing away scraps and whatnot, because once I finish this page, this double page layout of my son carving pumpkins or trick-or-treating or whatever, then I will put all the scrap papers away, or throw them away. So those are the only two full sheets that I have. And other than that, I have this which I can use, which this I can use because I love this. I might actually use this word text on for my Halloween page, but we'll see. I will definitely see because there were some like moments and mis mischief and different words and memories and anyway. So here's just some bits of scraps that like I won't throw away that I might use. You never know for punching for. I loved that and I never could fix it. Or fit it into getting it anywhere. The rest are like branding strips or like this I punched hearts and stuff out of. I won't keep things like this. Well I might keep this one but there's another one in here that I really used a lot. Like I won't ever stick that back into my scraps but until this page is done I will keep it just on the outside chance. I might need a contrasting orange like this lighter orange. Things like this I won't keep for right now I could probably get another couple pages with the scraps that I do have like you know some of these I have some pretty decent scraps here that could possibly like get used you know so if I do decide to do another page using these scraps well I, I could use what's left here so anyway the kid is killed I am a little tired of of looking at it 
I never, I've heard people say that before and I thought, well, what? Really? How could you ever get tired of, but I know what they mean now. I am tired of looking at this kit. I'm ready to move on to some really fun springy colors and I just, I'm ready to move on, you know? So here is the pages I got done. Now some of these are not from this kit and I am going to show you anyway because I did some extra scrapbooking because when I got a little overwhelmed with the kit I went and did something else like got some newer products out and played with them and this was it this was the drops of Jupiter line that came from Scraptastic and so I just wanted to do something different so I did this this page oh that's a Felicity Jane that's the one coming up okay there is a process video for this I used flare, I used puffy stickers, here's those glowed glitter thickers, some washi tape, some sticker uh, stock, and I made it an eight and a half by 11, which I like to do. This is, there is no uh, process video for this. I used those gold letters, I mean phrase stickers. Here's that cut apart uh, heart that I did. There's the sticker here that, that, was, that was from my stash. This was a three by four card, which I, cut apart. I used that cut apart card in three different layouts and that's just one way of doing things just to make your pages stretch your supplies a little bit longer. You know, farther I guess you could say. I have a whole house full and I can hear them and I heard my door open again. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't know who and what is going on out there. Um, here's that uh, brown corrugated thicker. So you see I used it there as well. Some flare. And here's those gold um, stickers again. Here's some puffy stickers. I've used the enamel dots and these puffy hearts from Freckled Fawn. Here's some branding strips as well as some scraps that were left over that I almost threw away. And I took that gold and peach circle one and took it out of the trash and thought I could use that. So I used it here, here, and here. I was going to keep this one, but these I, were, I was going to throw away because they were just, they were part half circles. But... I kept them. Now, this picture is a little blue, kind of purple. I printed these pictures years and years ago. I cannot find the CD or the flash drive that they were on, so I went ahead and used this, even though it's a less than stellar photo. But it tells the story, and if I ever come across it, I'll reprint it, peel this off, put it back on, and it'll all be fine. But at least his story is told. This is the only two-page layout, which I prefer to do, that I did. And this is from my son Zachary. The frames on both sides are from uh, Simple Stories, the So Rad collection. Uh, the little cameras are from Freckled Fawn. Everything else is from the kit. I did use, that's that Hello Cut Apart card. This was the yellow that matched this right here. And oh, I got visitors. Uh, out guys! Anyway, I have visitors. Um, this yellow matches the yellow here, so I had to pull the yellows over. So that's how come I cut apart that card. That was the only card with the yellow in it. <laughs> and that was my two grandkids that came to visit Grandma. I used a branding strip across the bottom here. And that was fun to do. I really enjoyed those pictures. Again, those pictures were not great, but they tell a story and it was fun to do. This was the second page I ever did. Everything on this page came from my Felicity Jane. I think there was a mixture of the October and the November kit here from this background to some of these papers, but I loved it. And I said to my son, do you care if I'm using florals on your page? He's like, mom, I'm as very secure in my manhood as anyone can be. He says, flowers don't scare me. Go for it. So I did. What the heck, right? My pages until I die and I will it to them. I used again the corrugated brown thickers. This was a cut apart card, which I used. Again with the phrase stickers. Here's more of that sticker stock and some more flair. The, this tag came in our kit. This was on like a little envelope, which I used just for the, the card. This was the first page, my very first process video. I was so nervous, but I have fond memories of this page because it was my first. But again, I used that thicker. This was from my stash, um, from Simple Stories. Everything else on here was right from the kits. And I love this page. And um, it was a fun page. Anyway, this there's that those tissue paper kind of confetti 
had a real hard time figuring out how to get those to stick without them showing through and finally staples were the key use two flares some puffy stickers call it good this is my oldest grandson aiden which burst through the door here a few minutes ago this cardstock was the cardstock that was in the kit i used it there were only two sheets and then this came from my stash and the white came from my stash i used more of the tissue paper confetti as well as some of the sequins the little letters came from my simple stories letters there's some washi tape from that little booklet more of the gold uh, phrases just fun this was a silhouette die cut as well as the welcome baby now this there's no process video for so far the rest all those had process videos this one did not here's that four by six cut apart part card the great grandma bonnie that is from my stash everything else is from the kits this is the um stamps the phrase stickers i popped up the rose i want to pop up something down here but i have to get it to match and i wanted to make sure i was really not going to use that paper for anything else but other than that i'm really thrilled with the way this came out i like the grid i've never really done a grid design and i've watched other people do it and I loved it. Oh, and I used that same card I used on my other son's page for my granddaughter's page. So this is going to go in her book. They'll never be near each other, so no one will ever know that I used the same card twice. Okay, this is another page from my sweet little Riley. It says, Our Little Sweet Riley Girl. Process video here. These came from my Freckled the Fawn kit. Again, these came from my Simple Stories. Here is that other cut apart. I used it on this page first because I liked how all of it said love this, love this, love this, except for that little tiny one in pink right there that says love this. And because it was for my granddaughter, I used it. There were some branding strips, some scrap. That little blue is some scrap. And I used some of my uh, satin ribbon from Stampin' Up. Now this, there's no process video for. I did this when I went on a scrapbook retreat. Uh, the doilies are from my stash. I used a Chamel Lane uh, stencil here and used some texture paste. This is a three by four cut apart. There's those thickers again. Again, they're not gonna be anywhere near each other, those, these pages, so it doesn't matter that I really used a lot of them. This is going in my daughter's book. Those other ones are going in like my grandson or my son, my two different sons, so each kid gets their own book oh there's another strip of that love this three by four card stuck it on the bottom i used every bit of that three by four card i also used one of those glassine bags to pop up and like give some dimension to this picture my daughter had just given birth to her daughter and she had a, a toddler boy and then she went back to school when she was two weeks old so she was nursing and all that other good stuff she was doing online classes but there's a process video for this this was my last process video so I'm not going to go through too much this was my stash um, jelly bean soup letters that I got from peachy cheap I used some of the stamps here I really love this page I got the idea from a scrapbook trends magazine that had the punched hearts everything else I think everything except for the our suite was from the uh, the kits again here is another one process video for this one the only thing that I pulled out of my stash was the four the four the you this is gonna go in my family album so this again will not have anything not be near any of those other pages that I used that brown thicker on I just got a sewing machine from a thing called offer up that we have in Las Vegas I don't know if everyone does it's an app on your phone it's like a a yard sale but on your computer or on your phone and I happened to see a sewing machine for forty dollars and went over it worked I grabbed it I have a sewing machine so I stitched anyway there's tags there's the cut aparts I use those uh, feathers I just I love this page there's my my uh, feather clip or a leaf for this I used it as feathers so anyway I think that's it but I will show you this was the first scrap tastic kit I ever got. I don't know that I ever did any. Um, I only order those kits every so often. I used um, the doilies here. These flowers were so old, they were in my stash. And this was in my stash, this little princess. The rest of this, oh, and I did use the washi tape from the um, from that washi book here. So that's kind of why it's in here. This, there was a process video for, but this was a silhouette page. I just wanted to show you that sometimes if you get stuck on a kit and you're trying to kill it, and you're 
you've got like a scrapbooking block, just move away from it. Do something else and then go back with fresh eyes and then you can do a whole lot more. Like I did these two pages and then I was able to go back and knock out a bunch with that kit because I wasn't tired of playing with it. But I used my silhouette and did the cloud background.